Vinyl Vixen here, guys, checking in at the Rap Sesh Lab. Take a peek at what we got on our schedule today if you want to come check it out. <laughs> today's, sesh, today's sesh is a uh, rule the rap game. That's a daily thing. Uh, rap Jar Jar, which is right here, and I'm going to introduce you. Uh, catch the Unicorn and find the Deathly Hallows. That's on the list. So uh, this is Jar Jar right here. This is actually Michael's uh, mom's Jeep. So this is a 93 uh, YJ. If you wanna come take a peek from the side. Um, this is the first time we took the hard top off and everything. Um, his mom doesn't even know uh, what color we're wrapping this. So it's really cool, she kinda gave us free reign. We're doing rhino line stuff. We're like, we're totally transforming this thing. So we're really excited. Do you guys wanna see what I got for Christmas? I got a ton of cool stuff for Christmas. Somebody sent us these shirts. I don't know who sent them to us, but they're cool as fuck. <laughs> they say gangster rapper. Uh, yeah, there was no return address or note or anything. So whoever sent us these two shirts, thank you so much. They're really cool. I'll still wear them even though it's not Christmas. Um, my dad, who was making fun of me for my snack bucket uh, that I mentioned in an earlier episode, uh, he actually made me this hangry kit right here. <laughs> So this is Jessica, he's the only one that calls me Jessica still. The hangry kit. He got me all sorts of snacks. So now I look professional. But uh, yeah. And then I also got, since everyone's all crazy about certifications and all about that piece of paper, I went and got certified. Hogwarts, Team Slytherin. <laughs> And if you see, like, I'm totally Harry Potter decked out today. I've just been in the Harry Potter spirit. I just got a bunch of the old school games, like on GameCube and PlayStation, all the old ones. Uh, got a time turner right here from the movie. If you wanna nerd out real quick. Which is also, by the way, see that? Right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, lots of fun over here. You shut your face when you're talking to me. Working. Uh, this week's video, we're going to talk about prep chemicals. Um, we've got all of our prep chemicals here that we like to use in our shop, but we would love to hear about what you guys are using in your shop and what works out for you guys. So um, make sure to leave comments and everything. You can do it on the social media or on our YouTube channel um, and chat with us. So just starting from the top, I think the most important chemical is going to be your alcohol, um, the, the base prep. So uh, we actually like to use denatured alcohol right here. You can get these at uh, Home Depot. Um, and we actually mix this usually like half and half. Yeah. About half and half, 50-50 with water. Okay. Um, we prefer the denatured. I think it smells better. I think it works better. It's not as harsh on your nose. It's not as harsh. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better. But yeah. um, some, some brands like 3M and things like that, they might tell you that you're supposed to use isopropyl. Either way, alcohol is alcohol. One's an industrial and one's a medical grade. So either one of those works. Just make sure to dilute it down so it's not evaporating so fast. Um, but yeah, that's your that's gonna be your main prep. That's what we use most of the time. Pretty much to wipe down everything. To wipe down everything, uh, at least the first go around. Before we install even the total cleaning of the vehicle, we use a lot of alcohol and water mixture. Um, right. Um, and if you really are trying to get something off that won't come off with alcohol, we usually stick with either rapid remover, which is obviously takes off any adhesive that you have left over. Right, this is or, gonna be, this is our choice for the best um, adhesive remover. I think it works better than Goo Gone, anything else, the 3M adhesive so remover. Yeah, so rapid remover, you can get this at Fellers. Um, that's our number one choice. And that also gets stuff off, aside from just adhesive, you can get, um, like if you've got bugs all over the front sap. bumper, sap, things like that, it actually really helps to get it but off. You also don't want to leave it on too long on a, like a paint job. You don't want to just let it sit for more than right. a minute. Because you do want to let it sit. It says all right on the bottle, set in 60 seconds. But, you but don't, don't leave it on leave it long on term. Yeah, because yeah, because it'll leave, it'll leave stains and stuff. It can eat at the paint over time. And uh, if it gets on like any of the black textured plastics, it leaves like weird drip marks and stuff. So you gotta really keep an eye with it. And then after you're done using it, make sure you clean um, with straight up um, alcohol. alcohol. And that's gonna cro cross it out. So you gotta make sure you use this after. 
Okay. Um, another really good cleaner is this Simple Green. This is the concentrated bottle right here. You can also get this at like Home Depot. You have to make sure that you dilute it. We usually do 70-30. 70-30 works well. And this is also great for aftercare too on your vinyl. Um, you can't use it in small areas, but if you wipe it on large sections of a panel, it actually cleans the vinyl really, really well. You just have to make sure to dilute it. This is similar on with matte rapid product. remover. You have to keep an eye on what you're doing with it. If you like spray it directly on a matte wrap or something, it's gonna stain it. So you need to make sure, you know, spray it on the rag and clean large areas um, instead of just globbing it on. It, you probably want to spray it off with Right, and then you should well. always end up cleaning it again with alcohol. Just take it off. So um, there's those two. And then uh, this right here is uh, body gloss. And we just use this uh, whenever we clay bar. So clay bar right here from Clay Magic. Um, we do this on hoods, roofs, um, areas like that. Anything that's really rough. Anything that's rough, yeah. By weather or uh, obviously sap, bugs, any kind of, it says right Tar, there. Tar, surface, overspray, tree really sap, well contaminants, any anything like that. that you're going to see, you know, under the wrap. Right. So those are usually going to be your horizontal panels and that you just spray this down and then you're follow the instructions on the back of this bag. <laughs> so that's a really important one for your horizontal panels. Um, and then we also have Action Tac. This is for wet app if you're doing clear bra or um, calendared film that's like non-air release. Uh, this is like a, a wet app spray. We also use um, our own wet app spray, which is just a couple drops, three or four drops of baby shampoo. Yep. Baby that's shampoo good. with water. Works so good. I think that works best. This works for certain things. Um, like if we're hand laying laminate or something like that, it works here. well. Kind of smells funky, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So the stuff up front, uh, we've got some tack cloths. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. These are from Detro. This is actually um, a paint more used product. Paint it's more products, used for paint painters. But they work really well. For but they removing work. Dust. They work really well to remove particles. So what it is is it's a. It's 100% cotton uh, cheesecloth, basically, and it's kind of sticky, and it just picks up all the contaminants. So if you've wet sanded an area, or if uh, you're just cleaning a surface right before, you know, get all the dirt and lint off, this stuff works really good. Anything a rag's gonna leave behind. Anything that even a rag, yeah, a rag will leave behind lint all over the place. I know you guys have probably dealt with it before. So this works really good because it's sticky and it picks it up, and it's not gonna affect definitely, your surface. Definitely wanna wear gloves though, because Yeah, it, it gets kind of weird. weird. It's like it's waxy, weird. I don't know. I don't I don't think it's it has wax in it, but um, there's a couple different ones. There's the white one, uh, the blue, and then there's a gold one. Um, yeah, it's for depending what kind of surfaces you're doing. If it's like a one stage or it's already painted or something like that. So we just have a couple of each. Um, those are a really, really good one. We get those at uh, Space Age. Here's their card right here. If you guys are local to uh, the Phoenix, you know, East Valley area in Arizona, they're over um, in Mesa. And it's a really old school like paint shop. It's really really cool. Uh, they have a bunch of like motorcycles and like airplanes like hanging from the ceiling, and you can get seals, you can get clips, you can get all this kind of stuff. Alcohol, a bunch of these products. Um, a lot so, of these products you can get at a paint store. Yeah, so check out your local paint store. You can get tapes, all sorts of things that you need. Yeah. Um, uh, fishing line. We fishing use line. For yeah. Removing emblems. Um, this stuff is the best. This is spider wire. Uh, you can buy it at Walmart. Um, but it's it's a lot better than just like the regular Teflon string or the plastic Is that a carbon string? string? This is more, yeah, it's like a woven uh, string. So it actually has somewhat of an edge to it since it's woven. Right. So it cuts a lot better. And uh, it's a lot more durable. I think it's got like a 125 pound test or something. It, I mean, it, it doesn't break easy. But yeah, that works really well to remove emblems without having to like sit and scrape at it. You, you just sit set the string behind it and saw it away. Yep, saw away, and um, you're not gonna damage the paint um, doing that. Probably the safest way. Other than that, well, we have scrapers too to yeah. get off the adhesive. Plastic scrapers too. You can grab these at Sellers, like 50 packs. Those are really great. I recommend a plastic holder. This is a metal one. Yeah, this one you gotta be careful because there's that little uh, thing this on the screw top. Right here, if you're not holding that screw, you can easily scratch a vehicle. So I recommend getting a plastic one. They have them. Um, I have a few, but this is one I had laying around. And then um, the sandpaper. Sandpaper, we normally only do wet sand. That's like the extent of what we do for body work here. 
within our area. Um, so we're usually using uh, either 800 up from 800 up to like a 1500 or 2000 grit. And that um, doing the wet sand will take off like light rock chips if you've got those on the um, your on front, the front clips. Mm -hmm. And this too, we just spray with alcohol and water and then yep. wet sand. So that works really well. And then after you do that, you should either clay bar or tack cloth it just to get all the contaminants off. Uh, taking off emblems, sometimes if it's an old vehicle, it'll leave a, if it's bitten like etched into the clear coat. So sometimes you have to take that clear coat down. So that's, you know, take the wet sand yeah. on that. And then, uh, mm -hmm. Um, last, but definitely not least, is my little secret weapon that we have here. Um, a lot of shops use it. You might have not heard of it. It's kind of really weird, but I've had a lot of questions on how we've been wrapping hard tops lately. Um, and we actually like to use this little product right here. So this is a pledge product from like Walmart and it's called it's called Floor Care now, or um, it used to be it's called Future polish. Shine, yeah. But it's a floor polish. And what you actually use this for is like uh, dirt bike plastics or um, a surface that's just primer, like if you just have a brand new bumper that hasn't been that painted been yet. Something that doesn't have a gloss coating on it yet. If you coat it with this, it actually adds just enough gloss to make it stick. And I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second on some hard tops that we did using this to make it stick, and it, it works out great. We also use this on uh, Kitty's two dirt bikes. If you saw our episode last week, um, we coated all the plastics and it makes it just sticky enough to stick on there. And it's totally removable when you take off the vinyl. If you wipe it down with alcohol, you're not gonna see this product anymore. So it's not a permanent thing. It's just a good prep um, seal for plastics and unprimered surfaces. It works really well on oxidized box trucks too. Oh yeah, like if you have powdery paint or, or anything paint like that. For, uh... Commercial, commercial wraps, vehicles. yeah, like commercial vehicles that are all beat, like this works really good. Yep. Um, so that's a little sneaky trick. But sneaky trick. yeah, I mean, I think that's the gist of it. I've got this Probon. Probon, we use Probon. We occasionally use this, very Not rarely. All the time. We don't use a lot of it. I don't recommend using a lot of it. Some Especially people, for color change, we don't really use it on, it on color there, change. And I just don't think it's necessary. Um, a little bit on each edge that you're doing the piece and that's all you really need, if any. I mean, it's only on really high stressed areas. Right, the, or like the in the case of these need. G part tops that we're talking about, G like we tops. actually coated the surface, yep. or the edges, the edges, just to help hold it on there because it was like a textured powdered paint surface. Yeah. So um, yeah, make sure you guys leave, uh, leave some comments and let us know what you guys are doing to clean up your vehicles and uh, let's share some good information around.